G'day guys, Daniel from CrossFit for Fitness here. This week I'm gonna to talk to you a bit about the programming that actually gets done this week in our gym, okay? So we're gonna be focusing on um, the warm up. We're gonna be also focusing on the main set and showing you guys how a class is broken down into suiting each individual's fitness needs, okay? So what happens is when we get inquiries here, we get inquiries through emails, phone calls, um, through our website, all those sorts of things, a lot of people will say, look, I've been thinking about doing CrossFit for a while, but you know, I think it's a little bit too intense for me. So these videos are gonna show you each and every single scaling option that we, can, that we will give every single fitness, uh, every single person that comes through the gym. So, when, we, when, when someone comes in here and becomes a member or they're doing a trial, everyone actually does the same workout, okay? So it's just individually changes to suit that, in, those individual needs, basically. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna talk for, first of all a bit about what we're actually doing today and then followed by the warm up and then I'll go back to scaling those movements in the, in the main set. So our main set is here, okay, so today we're going to be focusing on bench press, okay, so we've got a strength component first up, followed by conditioning. So every single Monday, generally speaking, we will focus on one strength and a probably 8 to 12 minute conditioning piece, okay. Generally speaking, it will fall underneath that time domain. Now, we've got bench first up, so 10 minutes to find a new uh, three rep max, Okay, followed by a conditioning workout, which is a CrossFit open workout. We've got a uh, 10 minute AMRAP, okay, so 60 bar facing burpees, 30 overhead squats, and 10 muscle ups, all right? So a couple of advanced movements right there, right? So we're gonna show you today how we break them down. So to begin with though, we will first start off with warming you up, getting the body temperature up, and uh, making sure that you're primed and ready to go. So one of the things that we do notice, guys, is when people do come in here, the warm up, uh, we ask people what they do, and, and, um, and I had someone the other day, and, and they basically said they were doing some presses and some leg press, and I asked them what they were doing for their warm up, and they said a, a 20 minute uh, run on the treadmill. So yeah, the body's getting, um, you know, warmed up and the legs are, you know, obviously moving and everything like that, which is fantastic, but there was no relation to what, what she was doing in regards to, you know, her main set, which was pressing and leg, um, pressing overhead and leg pressing on the machine. So, very important, guys, to make sure that you warm up correctly. So, we're going to break that down today for you. First of all, we're just going to get the body temperature up, right? We've got three rounds. We've got a 100 meter run, okay, and five burpees. So, just the, the 100 meter run, guys, just to get that body temperature up, followed by five burpees. We've got bar facing burpees in the main set. We're also, it's, it's gonna obviously have a bit of relation to your bench press. We're trying to push ourselves up off the ground. So that will help with uh, the bench press as well, getting primed and ready to go. A bit of explosiveness as well with a burpee for those bar facing burpees also. So once we've done that, guys, we've got two rounds. We've got some shoulder active, um, Shoulder plate, uh, shoulder plate warm up that we follow here, just to get those shoulders primed and ready to go. A lot of overhead squats, um, bar facing burpees, and also the muscle ups act, uh, activate the shoulders. So we'll, we'll be doing that. The 10 push ups, uh, followed by 10 push ups and 10 ring rows. So again, push ups have relation to uh, the uh, bench press that we're doing, the strength component, and also probably the bar facing burpees as well. The ring rows, guys, so you could, it could be one of the, your scaling option for the, the ring muscle ups that we're gonna be doing, okay? And we'll, we'll go through that in a minute, but basically we're just trying to get the lats nice and warmed up and primed and ready to go. Once we've done that, guys, we're pro we're, we're, we have a bit of a break. We will then go into the main set, so set up the benches. 10 minutes to find a new three up, three up max, okay, with our bench press. Okay, once we've completed that, okay, we will complete the conditioning, which is a 10 minute AMRAP. So 60 bar facing burpees, guys. So with the bar facing burpees, 60 is quite a lot, okay? So if you are a beginner, then we can definitely scale that down for you. So we can lo either lower the reps and show different movement standards for that, okay? So stepping over the bar, you know, ideally when you're bar facing burpees, you want to be doing ju double, double jump, or double, jumping with two feet, sorry, and then followed, uh, you could be stepping, stepping over doing that, okay? No problems at all, right? So 30 overhead squats, a technical movement. We've got 55 kilos for guys. Okay, and 40 kilos for girls. That's what we want to be focusing on, right? So with this movement, guys, 
It's a bit, like I said, it's a very technical movement. We could either be doing a front squat, okay, or a back squat, just to make just to get that scaling option right. We could even be just doing just a normal body weight air squat if that's what we need to do. If the barbell is, if we're not ready for that yet. Once we completed that, guys, we're going to do 10 minutes of muscle ups. Uh, sorry, 10 reps of muscle ups. Sorry. Okay, so scaling options for that would be chest to bar pull ups, pull ups, or ring rows, okay? If we get through that within 10 minutes, we're gonna go back to the, to the bar facing burpees, okay? So we're trying to get as many rounds and reps as possible in 10 minutes, all right? Try it out at home. Use some of the scaling options. You can, all you need is a bar, okay? Um, you can jump over the bar very, very simply with uh, just having a bar at home. You can give it a go and post your scores down below. So let us know how you go. Any questions, please let us know. Yeah. 